And so this is more likely than not, they just lost a customer. So I, why would I, if this is the type of, of services they provide to their customers, why would I come back and purchase another product with them? I, I'll just go to someone else or other, other uh, dealers in the area where I can easily purchase from. So, and I was actually thinking about replacing this thing and I will not be replacing it with them, that is for sure. Hey, how y'all doing out there? I just got my mower back for service and they charged me like $1,500. And I'm looking at my mower, looks like they didn't do a fraction of the work that I, they, they charged me for. Here's my, here's my mower right here. It's a Hustler X1. It's actually a nice line mower. Uh, Zill turn. One of the things they charged me for was blade sharpening. Now, I only cut like two stripes in my yard just to test it out after they bought it back to me yesterday. Look at these blades. I normally sharpen my own blades. These are not sharpened blades. <laughs> they did not sharpen these. The last person to sharpen these blades was me. <laughs> yeah, and so, yeah, this thing has three blades on it. And none of them were sharpened. Uh, they said they got me a new battery that they're charging for. And you look in here, I don't know if you can see down here, but uh, the, the label... The red label on that battery actually says 2017. I bought this lawnmower in 2018. It was a 2017 model. So that is the exact same battery that was in this lawnmower when I purchased it. And you can tell, look at all the grass is packed up under here. There's no way that they changed, took this, this thing out or cleaned this more. It's pretty dirty. This stuff is packed up in here. And they also said they they changed these uh this fan kit i can't tell whether they did or not uh this is one thing i cannot tell because i pressure washed this before i sent it up there these can't could be the originals so yeah i'm ready to head up there now i was supposed to be cutting my grass now i have to head up to this place to find out what the heck is going on Fifteen hundred dollars for nothing, and more importantly, they wasted my time. They wasted my. I could have done this myself. I normally would do it myself. I was like, hey, you know, they are offering free pickup, so I decided to uh, take, you know, have, take them up on the offer. And they had them up more for over a month. And of course, since my grass is getting tall, I have a big yard. I have a very large yard. Uh, that's just, as you can see, that's just part of it. And then I have all of this. And then plus I have all back here and behind the house. And on the other side of the house, it's over five acres. They had it over a month and didn't do anything. They charged me all this money for it. And here's the, uh, I'll show you the invoice here. Here's the invoice for the moor, as you can see right here. It says they changed the oil filter, which they did do that. They may have changed the spark plugs out, I can't tell. But I know they did. At least they probably wrote a date on the oil filter or something like that. It looks like they replaced one of the belts, but they did not pressure wash this unit. The uh, only person that pressure washed this unit was me before I sent it to them. Uh, they said they adjusted the tire pressure. Curious about that because I did adjust it before I even sent it out to them. Uh, and you can see it says right here, sharpen blades. And cleaned out under the deck reason unit which I doubt if they did any of that they could not have and I'll, tell, I'll show you why they could not have if they would have greased this this for example I'll show you over here that's the unit that's the uh, of course so the, there'll be some grease on this fitting this is just dirt on here and also this look at this They, the grease would have come out the side. They would have known that this was busted. So obviously they did not grease this. So it's time for me to head up and have a conversation with them and 
And that's what I'm ready to do next. About ready to roll out in the Rivian. And here's what one of the things I really like about this. I have to go get some some gas. I was hoping to cut my grass today, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, Taking it in for service, like I stated earlier, and I'm gonna have to go up to this place and find out what they did and didn't do with my moor and tell them not, I'm not gonna be paying for the some of the services that they said they did. But anyway, oh, this is one of the things I really like about this Rivian. This is this uh, gear guard really comes in handy. So you have my, my gas tanks right here and they have it locked right in. They're empty right now. I could have looped this in more than once, you know, to keep them from moving around, but uh, this is good for now, especially if they're empty right now, you gotta undo them anyway. So I don't really mind if they move around while they're empty. But yeah, this is perfect for me. This actually takes so much stress off of me. Now, before I had a Chevy Volt, you know, we have to put these in my hatchback in the Volt. And sometimes, you know, I had to smell of gas in my car for days. One time one tipped over and luckily they had a rubber mat in the back, but still, um, you know, having that, that gas smell in the car is not the greatest, uh, pretty horrible actually. So uh, this, just thinking about the ability just to dump these gas tanks uh, into the back of this vehicle, it was actually so relieving in itself. Anyway, we're to get up to this place and see what they have to say about themselves and their uh, lack of professionalism or incompetence, uh, whichever, or dishonesty. I don't know which one it is. I'm not gonna judge, I really don't care. Uh, I just want them to make it right. All right, in the Rivian, and about to head up to this place and see what they have to say about whatever services they actually did to my my moor. And this is, I mean, just from a business perspective. This is not smart. Uh, this is a commercial lawn and tractor place, which which means these things are fairly expensive. I think I paid eleven to twelve thousand dollars for my lawnmower, and so this is more likely than not they just lost a customer. So I, why would I, if this is the type of of services they provide to their customers, why would I come back? and purchase another product with them. I'll just go to someone else or other other uh, dealers in the area where I can easily purchase from. So, and I was actually thinking about replacing this thing and I will not be replacing it with them, that is for sure. Unless they give me some type of major discount. So, all right, let's just go ahead and get up here and uh, we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, I really don't feel like fighting today. I'm about ready to roll up on this place. Yes, and you know, I, I'm just like a lot of you, I just wish people would do their job. When I'm when I do a job, I go above and beyond, and I at least expect someone to at least do what they're supposed to do, even if you're not going above and beyond. And this is why I do a lot of my own stuff because of things like this. This is why I learned how to do electrical plumbing uh framing landscaping you name it cabinet building this is why i do it it's not not to necessarily to save money it's because there's just a lack of trust that i can find someone skilled enough and someone who has the work ethic to produce a product product quality that i expect and so that is why i have to to go and uh learn a lot of different trades and this is, it has nothing to do with what I do for a living. I mean, I, I sit behind a desk and I, I actually do policy uh, type work, you know, thinking work, complicated uh, type things like that. So this is nothing what I do for a living. But um, I hope this place is open. I don't see any, any cars over here. It is uh, almost 12 o'clock, so they should be open. But here we go. We're rolling up on it now. And... This is the place that supposedly fits my v my uh my hustler zero turn more. All 
Alrighty. Okay, I'm about ready to go in this place. I'm not gonna take my camera. I'm not gonna be, not gonna be recording because this is the private premises. So, um, but I'm gonna be tactful. I'm going to um, be smart in how to handle this. I'm not gonna confront them. Immediately, I'm gonna set a trap for them, a mental trap. Just ask questions and then I'll get down to the bottom line. All right, I'll see you back and let you know what the after. I went in there, I, I was like, hey, um, I took my blade in there, just one of the three blades that, that, that on, on my mower. And I asked, hey, does this blade need sharpening? He's like, yeah, it does need, it looks like it needs sharpening. We can sharpen it for you for free. And I said, that's interesting because I already paid for sharpening of part of the services. And then all of a sudden, some other guy chimes, I guess the guy who was supposed to have done the work, and all of a sudden, he said the blade was sharpened. Yes, if they sharpen, they probably sharpen it with a piece of paper. Because <laughs> as I showed you uh, before the start of this video, uh, those blades were not sharp. And I sharpen my blades all the time. I normally do it my, I always sharpen my own blades, you know, because I'm very meticulous about my, my lawn and the cut quality, because it takes about four hours for me to cut my grass. And if it's not cutting properly, I have to double cut. So just one part of my yard may take me four hours to cut. Just that one, two and a half acre uh, open open field in front of my house. The whole yard may take me six or seven hours if I have to double cut it. So time is, is of an essence. Time is money. Time is a precious resource that we cannot get back. And right now, today, a lot of my time has been wasted. So now I'm gonna have to go home and sharpen these blades. It's gonna probably take me about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, change the blades out yeah um this is ridiculous so and this is why it is important you know whether you're a man or a woman to have knowledge or either maybe a very good friend that has knowledge of different different areas where you can call upon but i would say that that person you should be able to call upon should be you you should be able to you know, do some research, especially with, with uh, Google and, and YouTube. You should be able to do some research to gather at least some functional knowledge of different areas. I know it requires a lot of time and it's a headache, but it can save you a lot of time and a lot of money. And you can call people out on their BS. You can call them out. You know, when they when they try to <laughs> call you out, maybe, I don't know when they, what they see when they look at me. You know, do I look bougie? I don't know. But I'm a working man. You know, I, I work with my hands. I do everything. My separate line, my wife and I do everything. You know, so and, that, and it goes back to the quality of work that it's hard to find a good craftsperson who is someone who's really dedicated and, and takes pride in their work. It's difficult. So we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, the whole, and it's not even about the money, really, at this point. It's the principle to matter that if they're doing this to me, what well, they're probably doing this to a lot of other people. And yes, I wasn't going to call the name out, but it's, it is Hartman. Uh, they are the uh, the ones I took my lawnmower to, Hartman Turf and Tractor. And they their main office is out of Millstadt, Illinois. And they just opened up a new office in Swansea, Illinois, I believe. And that's the one I just left. That's they are the ones that actually had my had my more. So but that's yeah, so I hope this is a lesson to everyone. You know, just to uh make sure that you keep yourself up in your knowledge and don't let people get away with anything and stand out. It's probably a little light on these guys, but for me it's not worth my time and effort. I got I got a lot of more other more important pressing business to be concerned with instead of being concerned with this. But that's all I have for today. Uh, you all take care and uh, see you on the next video.